You respond to a scene where a 58-year-old male skier collided with a tree. Upon arrival, your patient is lying supine in a snowbank wearing bulky ski clothing. His skis and poles are scattered around him. Okay, VSI. Is my scene safe? Your scene is safe. Okay, it looks like my mechanism of injury is that he collided with the tree. Is that correct? It is. Okay, is this my only patient? It is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and call for ALS, and I will go ahead and take full C-spine precautions. Um, my general impression of my patient is poor. Uh, he is lying supine in a snowbank. I'm going to go ahead and check a level of consciousness, so I'm approaching, and it looks like he does not track me. Is that correct? It is. Okay, so that's a one. Um, sir, my name is Victoria. I'm an EMT. Can you hear me? Mm. Okay, so he moans, so that's a two. Yes, he responds um, with incomprehensible sounds. Incomprehensible sounds. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pinch the back of his earlobe. Looks like he withdraws from pain, is that correct? He does. Okay, so I've got one for eyes, two for verbal, and four for motor. So it looks like he's a GCS of seven. Correct. Okay, so at this time I'm going to go ahead and expose my patient. Um, it looks like I have some bruising on the right side of the chest. You notice paradoxical movement stemming from the right side of the chest. Paradoxical movement. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put a bulky dressing on that. Um, does that take care of paradoxical motion? It does limit the motion of the chest, yes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to airway. I'm going to open up the jaw, uh, using a jaw thrust. Do I find anything? You hear gurgling from inside the airway. Gurgling, so I'm going to go ahead and suction out the airway. Is that clear? Airway is now clear. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and drop in an OPA. Does he tolerate? Accepts. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and move down to my airway. I'm going to take some lung sounds real fast. So I'm getting clear, equal, and bilateral. They're actually diminished on the right side. <clears throat> diminished on the right side. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get respirations. I'm going to look, listen, and feel, and time for uh, the rate. So it looks like we got about 12. Respirations are actually 30, regular, and shallow. 30, regular, and shallow. Okay, can I go ahead and get a pulse ox, please? Pulse ox is 87%. 87%. All right, so based on all of that, I'm going to go ahead and put him on a BVM, one breath every five seconds, no less than 800 to 1,200 milliliters of volume per breath at um, 15 liters high flow, too. Accepts. Accepts. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move down to circulation. I'm going to go ahead and grab a carotid pulse, and I'm going to go ahead and time that real fast. Pulse is actually 110, weak, and thready. 110, weak, and thready. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get a CTC. He looks uh, pink, warm, and dry. Patient is actually pale, cold, and clammy. Pale, cold, and clammy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a rapid blood sweep real fast, starting at the head. Do I find anything? Clear. Okay, so the back of the neck. Clear. Okay, so uh, right arm. Clear. Okay. Left arm. Clear. Okay, I'm going to do his uh, back. Do I find anything on the back? Clear. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the right leg. Right leg is clear. Okay. And the left leg. Left leg is clear. Okay. So based on all of that, it looks like he is going into shock. So I already have O2 on him. There was no other major bleeding. I'm going to go ahead and put a blanket on him for thermal management. I will not elevate the legs due to the injury of the chest. And he is a priority patient, so we're going to load and go based on his GCS. Uh, let's see. Is there a sample history that I can go ahead and obtain? He does not have any medical alert tags, and there are no bystanders no present. No bystanders. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and begin my secondary assessment, so my detailed physical exam. I'm going to go ahead and start at the head. Palpating for DCAT BTLS, do I find anything? Clear. Okay, checking the ears, CSF, blood, battle signs. Clear. Okay, so now chasing, uh, checking the facial areas under the eyes. Clear. Okay, nose, CSF, blood. Clear. Okay, raccoon eyes. None. Okay, so checking the lower part of the jaw. Clear. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab pupils real fast. Yes. Okay. 
All right. So moving down to the neck, checking cervical spine. Do I have any step offs? No. Okay, tracheal deviation? None. Tracheal vein distension? None. Okay, now go ahead and palpate the chest, avoiding the flail chest. Um, do I find anything else on the chest? Chest is clear other than the right side. Other than the right side. Okay, so moving down to the abdomen, palpating in a clockwise motion. Do I find anything? Abdomen is clear. Abdomen is clear. Okay, going down to the pelvis, pressing down and inwards. Are they stable? Pelvis is stable. Okay, and based on the mechanism of injury, we'll go ahead and inspect the genitalia. Genitalia is clear. Okay, so going down to the right leg with equal and opposite motion, all the way down to the toes. Do I find anything? Right leg is clear. Can I grab a pulse? Pulse is present. And can you feel that? No response. Okay. <clears throat> Moving down to the left leg with equal and opposite motion all the way down to the toes. Do I find anything? No. Pulse? Present. And then can you feel that? No response. Okay. So coming back up to the upper extremities, I'm going to go ahead and do the right arm with equal and opposite motion all the way down to the fingers. Do I find anything? You notice crepitus in the right hand, also cyanosis in the right hand, and pulse is diminished. Pulse is diminished. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and have my EMT partner go ahead and splint that. Now I'm going to check the left arm with equal and opposite motion all the way down to the fingers. Do I find anything? Left arm is clear. Okay, pulse? Present. And can you feel that? No response. Okay. So when I was putting him on a long backboard, I would have gone ahead and checked the back. I would have checked the thoracic, lumbar, and buttocks. Do I find anything? Clear. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and get another set of vitals. So may I please have a blood pressure? Blood pressure is 110 over 60. Okay. Um, can I go ahead and get another pulse? 100 strong and regular. Okay, and respirations, please. Respirations are now 20 regular and normal. 20 regular and normal. All right, so it looks like I took care of my secondary injuries, which was um, the hand that was deformed with cyano uh, cyanosis, and I went ahead and splinted that. And uh, he is a critical patient, so we are going to recheck vitals every five minutes and do everything consisting from his primary assessment to ABCs, and now I am done testing. Is there anything you would like to change or add? BSI, if I did not say so at the beginning.